good Friday night, everybody. Uh, so today's vlog is not going to be a lot of cutscenes. It's really just going to be me talking, and it'll be, uh, I don't know, five minutes maybe, whoever long it takes me to get through this story about what happened today. And uh, the title of this vlog is No Exaggeration. Um, so let's just get started. So uh, during, during this last summer, we went in school, and we did some active shooter training. So, because, you know, it's unfortunate as it is in the shootings that have happened in the last, you know, decade in schools, we need to get more prepared on how to deal with these situations. So, we did this active shooter training. And then this morning, between sec uh, first and second hour, uh, we hear the secretary call the principal to the office. Which was, it's very rare, because typically he's in the office, or she calls him on the phone. It's just, she, you could tell in her voice that something was wrong and that she needed to get to the principal very quickly. So about two minutes later, she comes back on the intercom and says that the school is going into lockdown. This is not a drill. And the students were like in shock. They didn't believe it. They still thought it was a drill. So they're still walking to their classes. But in all reality, it was it was a real thing. And so we're, we're yelling at the, at the kids, um, we're telling them get to, uh, get to the classroom as fast as you can. The assistant principal or the dean of students is yelling, running through the hall, telling kids to get in, and that's when it kicks in. Everybody sprints to a classroom. Uh, when I see the, my part of the hall is clear, I sh sh slam the door, it's locked. We barricade it, push all the desks up to that door. Uh, mine and Brittany's room connect. We run back, all the kids, probably 15 of them in my room, run into her room, help her barricade and shut the door, and then her students and my students go into our chemical closet. Basically, it's a huge storage closet. So we all run back in there, and we're we're freaking out. You know, and I'm, I'm saying as calm as possible just because I don't want Brittany to get worried or the students start worrying. I tell the students to don't text anybody. I mean, just because it can relay a mass hysteria when we don't know exactly what's happening yet. We just know we're in lockdown. You know, we, we weren't hearing anything, so we didn't do, think there was somebody in the building. And But we were wondering, do you know, because one of the training was if you lock down, you run. You get out of the building and go. Well, we didn't know if somebody was in the building or on the outside, and it was a very, stress, very stressful situation. The first 10 minutes, everybody was on uh, pins and needles. It was... Easily, uh, the scared side I've, I've been in a long, 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 long time. And so we, the first, like I said, the first ten minutes were pins and needles. Everybody was very tense. Um, we stayed in the room for probably a half hour, and toward the end, you could start to tell, or you know, with not hearing anything going on, we started to think, oh, it's just it's some, something in the community. And then uh, the superintendent came over the phone and told us it was just that there was a situation in the community that the police were handling. And they'd let us know when we were off lockdown. And so that kind of calmed us down a little bit. We knew it wasn't in the school, and we just waited. So after it's all said and done, there was a guy who was taking like a toy gun or a video game gun back to who he'd bought it from, or his nephews or something that happened to be walking behind campus through a wooded area. Somebody saw it, didn't know what was going on, saw what looked like a gun in the bag. And because they couldn't confirm it yet, they had to, they had to put the school in lockdown, which is... It, uh, I mean, it's, I don't know, it's, it's what it is, I mean, being, having to be that nervous about something going on, and, but in a situation like that, as a school, you have to lock down, you have to protect the students that are in there, but going through that, it was just crazy, like, very, very weird, very, very crazy day, and so we, after it was all said and done, uh, they released the lockdown, we did normal class rest of the day. Uh, me and Britt went to Raylana's, got some more Xander stuff for half off, which is that consignment shop she went to last week. Um, and then I came home and like just, it all caught up with me and I just crashed. Like all the not sleeping well the last couple weeks, uh, the, all the adrenaline and amped up and just mo like drainage that happened this morning just caught up and I just crashed for about an hour and a half. And then uh, didn't vlog, like didn't, have any interest? Did almost almost thought to not do it today and just catch up tomorrow. But 
Um, I wanted to keep the streak, wanted to keep this going, wanted to keep videos popping up for you guys. And so uh, tomorrow should be a lot better. We'll be down at uh, Petty Jean State Park in Russellville, or near Russellville, uh, with my family just hiking around, uh, walking around, seeing the waterfalls, and just having a good, good outdoor day. So hopefully it's either going to be rainy, but not rain, like cloudy and cool, or it's a bluebird and very beautiful sunny day. So we will see you tomorrow. Love you. Rock on.